Hey guys, what's up? I'm Aaron Beckman. I'm out here with my buddy Josh Nolan. Um, we're looking for sponsors to sponsor a tournament for the Midwest area for our 2015 season of disc golf. Now this course is a 30 par hole course. Um, the longest range is 385 feet on hole number six in Esterville, Iowa at Joe Hoy Park. Um, so we're going to take a few minutes to record some of the disc throwing and the stuff that we do around here and see if uh, we can get anybody to sponsor us. So thank you. Now we're moving on to the rest of this course. Let me give you a decent view of the park. So, as you've already seen hole number one, we're moving on to hole number two, and you'll be able to see the rest of the course as we go on. But, uh, talked to John Wittenbin, got to try to get a whole thing going on Thursday nights with uh, disc ball or disc golf league, excuse me. And uh, no one ever showed up for that. Um, so we're going to try to do this tournament thing. I know we do tournament for uh, Sweet Corn Days, but that's only just a tournament. I mean, playing against competition in different areas would be awesomely amazing to do within the Northwest area. Even get maybe pro people to come out and play. I don't know. But uh, we'll see how, this, how far this will go. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of this course. Um, this is hole two, par three, 203 feet, uh, donated by Emmett County State Bank. So, as you can see, there's a platform. It's kind of the disc layout of the land way down there. You got holes three and four. Five and six over here, and it kind of curves off down to the bank down here, and goes down back behind them woods, and back up through these woods to hole number nine over here. So, all in all, a really nice course. Um, like I said, they got some better courses in the, the northwest area. Now we're walk moving on to the rest of this course. Let me give you a decent view of the park. So, as you've already seen hole number one, we're moving on to hole number two, and you'll be able to see the rest of the course as we go on. But, uh, talked to John Wittenbin, got to try to get a whole thing going on Thursday nights with uh, disc ball, or disc golf league, excuse me, and uh, no one ever showed up for that. Um, so, we're going to try to do this tournament thing. I know we do tournament for uh, sweet corn days, but that's only just a tournament. I mean, playing against competition in different areas would be awesomely amazing to do within the Northwest area. Even get maybe pro people to come out and play. I don't know, but uh, we'll see how this, how far this will go. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of this course. Um, this is. Hole two, par three, 203 feet, uh, donated by Emmett County State Bank. So, as you can see, there's a platform. It's kind of the disc layout of the land way down there. You got holes three and four, five and six over here. And it kind of curves off down to the bank down here. And he goes down back behind them woods and back up through these woods to hole number nine over here. So, all in all, a really nice course. Um, 
like I said, they got some better courses in the, the Northwest area. Now, as you all know, this is probably one of my favorite drives on this hole, other than the one that's hole number five going into hole number six, which is down there. Um, it's right over there. Uh, 385 feet over these cherry blossom trees, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but in all in all, it's it's all in good fun. Um, I'm going to record myself throwing this one. This one's a really nice drive. Um, 302 feet. I don't know if you can see it down there, but it's you see that blue trash can? It's just candy corner of that that the pin is sitting 302 feet down there and here's our platform so I'm going to throw this this is kind of why I like this hole excellent for distance not only distance but for driving Head four. Now, as y'all know, this is a tricky one. This is the one everybody dislikes about this, because you can see where all these trees are right here. There's a little creek bed, a little ravine, and people lose their disc in here. Also, back in there. But uh, go around it, and your hole's just beyond this second set of tree over here. And this is. Hole for number four, par three, 211 feet. Now, a lot of people sidearm this. And uh, I'm going to kind of show you how it's done. So, bear with me here. I got one person recording and another person throwing. I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm using the Avenger uh, disc. You can use any kind of disc driver. Five arms. One finger or two fingers. You hold it like this. Just like whipping a towel. And you try to curve it as much as you can off to the right, but you get it as straight as possible. As low as possible. Just like this. All right. We're on hole number five now. This was after we did hole four. As you can see, we threw along there. Now you can see 354 feet. Hole five is way down there by that that tree down there, way back behind these bushes over here. And uh, as you see, there's a, a little walkway that you throw along where there's all these bushes and trees that you can get caught up in. So, I have to be careful, but uh, if we, you know, could clean this area up a little bit, trim some of those branches down, it wouldn't be so bad. Um, but this is why hole four kind of got a little bit of a competition here and a challenge. So I'm going to kind of just show you how to throw this one too. So. Now this is a 30 par course, and I've been getting left and right uh, par. So I'm gonna try to show you how to do this one. Again, I throw sidearm. People throw regular, but I do sidearm. I'm gonna try to throw along this tree line here. I'm try to get as far as possible past these bushes and trees. And of course, I ended up in the bushes. So. You can see what I'm talking about. Now, one thing before I go. It doesn't matter how bad you are at this sport. It really doesn't matter how good you are at this sport. What matters is that, that you can come out and spend quality time with a friend. And that's what this sport's about. Coming out, maybe having a few beers on the course, and having a good time with the family throwing some disc. That's what it's really about. So truly, you may not like this sport, but you can't judge it until you try it, right? So I guess that concludes our video.
This has been Aaron Beckman at Joy Hoy Park. We'll see you next time.